Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this Monday evening. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and you really enjoyed the fabulous weather that we had. Um, and it looks like we're going to have a fantastic week. So uh, hopefully you get time to spend a little time out in the sunshine. Um, our theme today is anchor. So we're going to be anchoring ourselves and kind of going in and out of that as we go through the practice. As always, throughout the practice, listen to your body and only do what feels right for you today. So let us begin our practice today lying down. Making yourself nice and comfortable on your mat. Close your eyes. Soften your body. Let go of your day and everything that's going on in your life. And just bring yourself to the mat. Softening all the muscles around your face and jaw. Softening your shoulders, allowing them to sink into the mat. And identify something in your life that brings you joy. It doesn't matter what it is, it can be a moment in time, it can be anything at all, a person, a thing, a place. Just bring that to the fore of your mind. and allow the feeling of joy that that brings you to fill you. Remembering the joy of the moment or the person or the place. Reenacting it in your mind. Finding that emotion of joy that it brought you and letting that emotion fill you. This is your anchor. And throughout the practice, we will recall this anchor several times and try to bring that feeling with it, that feeling of joy, of pleasure, of ease. And now allow your attention to go to your breath. As you inhale through your nose, filling your belly, pause, and then exhale through your nose. As you inhale, 
just say to yourself, inhale. And as you exhale, say to yourself, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Repeating that with the flow of your breath for three more breaths. And then when you're ready, bending your knees, rolling over onto your side, make your way up to stand at the top of your mat. Standing with your feet hip width apart, equal weight in both feet, standing up nice and tall, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Close your eyes and recall your anchor. Letting that feeling of joy fill your body. And then taking your right arm, just draw it across in front of your chest, hooking your left arm underneath the arm to just give a nice stretch to the shoulder. So you're like this, stretching that shoulder. Standing up tall, feeling the length in the spine. As you exhale, beginning to engage the core, drawing up the pelvic floor, belly button in and up. And then let's take that over to the other side. Feeling the stretch in the shoulder, lengthening through the spine, engaging the core. One more breath here. And then letting the arms come down by your side, let's draw those shoulders up to the ears, push them back and drop them down. And again, up and back and down. And up and back. And down two more times, nice and slowly. So you're really feeling the benefit, feeling the chest open, feeling the shoulders release as they drop down. And then coming to stillness. And with the head, let it bow down, chin to chest. And then let's draw really big, slow, deliberate circles with the head, feeling the neck stretch all the way. The front, the back, and the two sides stretch as you rotate the head. And when next you get back, to the head bowed over the chest, just take that in the opposite direction. And 
And one more rotation of the head. And then bring it back to the center. Looking forward, again, just check in with those feet, equal weight on both feet, standing up tall. Find that length in the body, engaging the core as you exhale. Let's bring the left hand onto the hip, draw the right arm up past your ear. And then let's take a bend to the left chest, looking outwards and upwards to keep those shoulders nicely square. With each exhale, seeing can you get a little deeper into your bend. One more breath. And then coming back to upright, let's take that to the other side. Left arm up past the ear, taking the bend to the right, having the chest look up and out. And then deepening that bend with each breath. One more breath. And coming all the way back to upright. And then from here, let's just turn the body, bringing the arms, wrapping them around you, twisting to look at the back of the mat. And with each Breath again, just seeing, can you deepen the twist of the upper body? Coming back to center, let's take it to the other side. Again, deepening the twist with your breath. One more breath here. And coming back to the center, bringing your right hand across your chest, your left hand pointing straight out to the side. And again, taking a twist this time, you can observe how deep you twist, how far this arm can go with the twist. One more breath. And coming all the way back, let's take it to the other side. Left arm comes across the chest, right arm out to the side and twist. And deepen. And deepen. And one more breath. And again, coming all the way back to the center. And from here, bow the head, round the shoulders, round the spine, soften the knees, and just roll down. And when your hands reach the mat, Softly with the knees, begin to slowly uncurl, drawing up one vertebrae at a time, all the way back to upright. And again, bowing the head, rolling down. And again, when you, your hands reach the mat, uncurling to come all the way up again. 
And one more time, rolling down. And rolling back up again. And then standing at the top of your mat, standing up tall, lengthening through the spine, engaging the core, close the eyes and recall your anchor and all of the emotion, the joy that comes with it. And then from here, let's raise the arms up over the head, palms together. Raise the gaze and take a breath. And sweeping the arms out to the side, we're coming into a forward fold. So now we're hinging at the hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to as you come into your forward fold. And then lifting up to halfway, lengthening through the spine, gaze on the floor. And forward fold once again. Let's step the right leg back for a low lunge. Keep the gaze in front. And then bringing it into your plank, setting yourself up with your hands nice and strong on the mat, fingers open, stepping back into your plank, soft with the elbows, three breaths here. And then bringing yourself down either through knees, feet, chest and belly or lowering yourself down nice and slowly, keeping that body as even as you can on the way down. And then open the feet. And then let's draw up so light with the hands, engaging the core as you draw the forehead and chest away from the mat. Keep the gaze onto the mat. And pushing on up here, adjusting into your tabletop and through to your downward dog. So curling the toes, push the hips back, make your way up, pedaling your way in. Nice and slowly does it, giving those legs the opportunity to just waken up and activate. And then when you're ready, coming to stillness. Let's take three breaths here. Gaze towards the belly button. Drawing those shoulders away from the ears, pushing back towards the back of the mat. Stretching the right leg out behind you. Let's step it through. Low lunge. And stepping up into your forward fold. Bend the knees. Coming all the way up. Palms together. Raise the gaze. Sweeping through to forward fold. And halfway lift. Forward fold again. Stepping the right leg back. Low lunge. 
remembering to engage the core with the exhale really activating it feeling the stretch in the quad here the extension of the hip and then through to your plank for three breaths and bringing yourself down onto the mat whatever way you choose if you're lowering yourself straight down keep those elbows in we don't want them coming out you just put too much pressure on your shoulders so keep the elbows in if you're lowering straight down and then draw the forehead and chest away from the mat and pushing on up through tabletop into your downward dog for three breaths stretch that left leg out behind you stepping it through low lunge and then stepping up into a forward fold for a breath and coming all the way up bringing those hands into prayer at the chest Close the eyes, recall your anchor, feel yourself fill with the joy that anchor brings you. Raise the arms back up over the head, palms together, raise the gaze, take a breath. Sweeping the arms out to the side, forward fold. And halfway lift. Forward fold again. This time we're going to step back into a warrior one. So step the right leg back uh, a good distance so you can feel the stretch on the right leg, but you still want to be able to keep that right foot flat on the mat, bending this left knee so it's over the ankle. Rise up, square your hips, raise your arms, soften the shoulders. Feel the stretch in the right leg, the strengthening of the left leg. Let's take three breaths here. Drawing up that pelvic floor, belly button in and up on each exhale. And then hinging forward, bring the hands either side of this left leg, left foot, and begin to open out the left leg into a nice stretch. And then from here, Bringing the hands firmly down onto the mat, stepping it back into your plank. So make sure you step your legs back far enough for your plank. Shoulders over wrists. Three breaths. And coming down onto your mat your way. 
And then let's draw the forehead and chest away from the mat into your back bend and push on up through tabletop to your downward dog. Two more breaths here. Let's stretch that right leg out behind you, stepping it through or coming into warrior one again. So letting this left foot there, hip width apart, uh, left foot firmly on the mat, right knee bent over right ankle, square up the hips, raising the arms, three breaths. And hinging forward, let's frame this right foot, lengthening through the leg, finding the stretch in that front leg. With each breath, just deepening the fold. And then let's step that left leg up to the right, so are their hip width apart, forward fold. Bending the knees, coming all the way up, hands together over the head, raise the gaze, take a breath. Sweeping down, forward fold. Challenging yourself now as you come into your forward fold, seeing can you get a little deeper and then lifting up into your halfway lift, lengthening the spine. Nice deep forward fold. Stepping that left leg back for warrior one, bending this right knee so it's over the ankle. As you rise up, square the hips. Raise the arms, soften the shoulder, gaze in front, three breaths. And forward fold over this right leg, extending it out, feeling that stretch in the right leg. Working with your body, just folding as much as is a little bit of a challenge for you without overdoing it. And then from here, stepping back into your plank for three breaths. Pressing away from the mat, nice active hands here. Then bringing yourself down onto the mat in your preferred way. And once you're here, drawing up the forehead and chest. And push on through to your downward dog. Stretching that left leg out behind you. Let's step it through for warrior one. Left knee bent over the ankle. Little bit of weight in the outside edge of that right foot, feeling the stretch in that right leg, raising the arms, soften the shoulders. Engaging the core as you exhale. Mm. 
and then forward fold over this left leg opening it out for a nice deep stretch And then let's step that right foot up into a forward fold. And bending the knees, coming all the way up, bringing those hands into prayer at the chest. Close the eyes. Recall your anchor. Allow that feeling of joy to wash over you. And then drawing those arms back up over the head, palms together, raise the gaze, take a breath. Sweeping forward into a forward fold. Nice and deep. Challenging yourself with each of the poses and coming into your halfway lift, lengthen the spine. And forward fold once again. This time bend the knees, rise up to stand. Shift the weight into the right leg. Turn the left leg to the side at a right angle. And we're going to come into a tree pose. So putting your left foot onto either your calf or your thigh, whichever feels right for you today and make your way into your tree pose. Hands in prayer at the chest. Find your gaze point. Stand up tall, engage the core, raise the arms up over the head if you can. Let's take three breaths here. Keeping that left knee at a right angle to your right knee. Bring the hands back down into prayer. See if you can do this without touching the ground. It doesn't matter if you touch the ground, but as a little challenge to yourself if you want to. Bringing the hands into prayer, we're going to just bend forward. Let that left leg come out behind you. Gaze down at the floor. One more breath here and let the hands then come down onto the mat. Step back into your plank. Three breaths here. And bringing yourself down onto the mat. And drawing up into your back bend. Pushing on up into your downward dog for three breaths. Stretch that right leg out behind you. Step it through. Step the left foot up beside it. Lifting up, turn that right foot at a right angle. And raise the right foot up onto that left leg, wherever works for you. So the calf or the thigh, but try to keep it away from your knee joint. Bring the hands into the chest. Find your gaze point. Soften that gaze. 
lengthen the body, press the foot into the leg, the leg into the foot. And then if you like, raise the arms up over the head. Three breaths. Then bringing those hands down onto the chest. Again, if you want to do this just flowing, sending the legs straight out, do. If not, touch the ground by all means. But we're just hinging at the hips here. Let the gaze look to the floor as you raise the right leg up. One more breath. Let the hands come down onto the mat. Step that right foot up beside the left, forward fold. Bend the knees, coming all the way up, palms together. Raise the gaze and take a breath. Sweep the arms out to the side, forward fold. And halfway lift. Forward fold again. Coming back up to stand, turning that right foot out. At a right angle to the left and draw that right foot up onto the thigh, the left or the left leg, wherever the thigh or the calf. Find your length, find your strength in your core. Maybe bring the arms up over the head, maybe open them out this time. Two more breaths here. Bringing those hands back into the chest, hinging at the hips as that right leg comes out behind you. One more breath. Hands down onto the mat. Stepping both feet back to come into your plank. Remember having those shoulders over the hips. So try to keep the form in the plank. So sometimes plank can run away on us a little bit. And we're doing it often. So we want to still maintain that form. Heels over toes, shoulders over wrists. One more breath. And coming down onto your mat. Let's draw up into our little cobra. And pushing up here again through tabletop to your downward dog. Challenging yourself here to deepen into your downward dog, pushing those hips back. Stretching that left leg out behind you. Step it through. And then step that right foot up beside it as you come up to stand at the top of your mat. This time turning that left foot out. And coming into your tree pose here. Remembering to keep the knees at a right angle to each other. Find your length. Find your core strength. Draw the arms up, maybe open them. Three breaths.
then bringing those hands down to the chest hinging at the hips as that left leg extends out behind one more breath and maybe hurry down like I did <laughs> and step that left leg underneath forward fold bending the knees coming all the way up to stand bringing those hands into prayer at the chest close your eyes recall your anchor recall the emotion allow it to fill you and from here raising those arms over the head palms together raise the gaze take a breath forward fold taking a breath and lifting halfway forward fold again let's step the right leg back for a low lunge this time step it back as far as you can bringing that right knee down left knee over that left ankle rising up engaging the core three breaths here hands down either side of that left foot as we come up into a runner's lunge so we are curling the toes on that back foot rising up the knee looking to the front push that left he a right heel away from you feeling the stretch in that right leg And now for some strengthening, we're going to lift up from here into our high lunge. So really working that left leg as you raise the torso up, raising the arms. One more breath. Hands down either side of the foot, stepping back into your plank being conscious of your plank keeping it true bringing yourself down onto your mat and then lifting up forehead and chest pushing on up to your downward dog stretching that right leg out behind you let's step it through for your low lunge and taking it from here into your runner's lunge framing the foot curling the toes of that back uh, foot raising the knee looking to the front stretching out that left leg pushing out through the heel and then from here lifting up into your high lunge
One more breath. And bringing the hands down either side of that right foot. Step the left foot up. Forward fold. Bending the knees. Coming all the way up. Raising the arms up. Palms together. Raise the gaze. Take a breath. Sweeping forward into your forward fold really deep now. And halfway lift. Dropping back into that forward fold. Really feel that connection between your lower rib cage and your thighs. Let's step the left leg back, low lunge. And bringing it into your runner's lunge, curling the toes, lifting the knee, look forward. Rising up to your high lunge for three breaths. And bringing yourself down onto the mat. Then drawing the forehead and chest away. Pushing up into your downward dog. Let's stretch that left leg out behind you, stepping it through for a low lunge. And coming into your runner's lunge, Lifting up that right knee, finding that stretch, keeping it strong as you come towards the end of your practice. And lifting up into your high lunge. One more breath. And then folding forward, step the right foot up, forward fold, deepening into the fold. Bending the knees, coming all the way up, bringing those hands into prayer at the chest. Close your eyes, recall your anchor, let the joy blood over you. And then letting the arms come down by your side, bow the head, round the shoulders, roll down, When your hands reach the mat, just take either side of your elbow and gently sway from side to side. And 
and then coming to stillness let the hands come onto the mat come down into tabletop and then swinging around come to sit on your mat with your legs out nice and long toes pointing upwards equal weight on both seat bones as you sit up nice and tall here Bending your knees, hugging your shins round the spine, round the shoulders. And then coming back to upright lower yourself down onto the mat and lift those legs up so the soles of the feet are looking at the ceiling and lift up the arms bending the elbows so that the shoulder blades are snugly against the mat palms facing upwards and allow your limbs to hover here One more breath here. And then hug those knees into the chest, massaging out the back. When you're ready, let those feet come down onto the mat, keeping the knees bent, bring the arms into a T, and let the knees fall over to the right as your gaze goes to the left. One more breath here. And let's take it over to the other side. One more breath. And then when you're ready, bringing those knees back to the center, 
Let those legs come out long, arms come down by your side. Palms facing upwards, feet flopping out to the side. Close your eyes. And thank you so much for joining me in this practice. I hope you found it enjoyable and beneficial and found something you can take with you off the mat. Remember to let us know when you've completed the practice because we're coming to the end of the month and it's nearly time for our roll of honor so be sure to get your name on it this month but now it's time for your body to totally ease out and relax after that busy practice so softening your body Letting go of your toes and the soles of your feet. Letting go of the tops of your feet, your heels and ankles, your calves and shins. Letting go of your knees, front and back, your thighs, front and back. Letting go of your glutes and pelvis. Letting go of the whole length of your back and shoulder blades. The whole front of your body, chest and shoulders. Letting go of your armpits, upper arms, elbows, forearms wrists, backs of your hands, palms of your hands and your fingers. Letting go of the back of your head, the crown of your head, the forehead, eyebrows, eyes, cheeks, jaw, chin, lips and tongue whole of your body, just let it go. And recall your anchor here. Allow that feeling of joy to wash over you. And take a moment here for gratitude for that moment of joy. And then let your attention go to your breath as you inhale through your nose, into your belly, pause, and then exhale through your nose. With each breath, just feeling yourself connect with your inner self. And imagine you're walking on a beach. Notice smells, the sounds, the texture, the temperature, the 
look out to the sea. Notice that gentle ebb and flow of the water. That reassuring sound of the sea. Find a place to sit here, enjoying the scene and at peace with yourself.